Hello, and welcome to a short video about Skype. What is Skype? At its most basic, Skype is a free application that allows users to communicate with people over the internet. It utilizes video, audio, and instant messaging services to connect members of the Skype network with each other and with conventional phone users. Released in 2003, Skype currently has 663 million registered users and was purchased by Microsoft in 2011 for $8.5 billion. This video will cover four specific topics. How does it work? Why is it popular? What are the potential downfalls in utilizing the service? And it will have a demonstration of the video in one typical phone call. So, how does it work? Skype is a voice over internet protocol software program. What this means is it uses video, audio, and instant messaging information to transfer messages between users. By utilizing proprietary codecs, which are algorithms that are used to convert an analog voice signal to digital encoded version, Skype sends the digital data to the computers simultaneously, much the same way the current telephony services work. They can also do this with video data, allowing the user to transmit images simultaneously with audio, known as video chat. What makes Skype different is the utilization of the peer-to-peer -peer data transfer as opposed to the client-server traditional methods. Peer-to-peer -peer sends traffic straight from user to user, whereas client-server has the data routed through a central server, increasing the time between transmission and reception, known as latency. So why is Skype popular? Skype is popular because it's free, fast, and multi-platform. For basic services such as profile registration, instant messaging, and one-on-one -on -one video and voice chat, Skype does not charge a fee. However, it does have a premium service, and by utilizing certain proprietary protocols, Skype is able to offer additional services such as Skype Out and Skype In. Skype Out allows Skype users to call traditional phone lines for a rate that is typically lower than traditional phone lines, for example, two to three cents a minute, with monthly plans starting as low as two dollars. Skype In allows members to subscribe to a monthly service in exchange for a telephone number that allows traditional lines of service to contact the Skype member. Because the costs associated with traditional telephones are so much higher than Skype's options, it becomes a much less expensive replacement for traditional phone lines. Skype is also faster than conventional client server models of VOIP. Because Skype utilizes peer-to-peer -peer traffic and dynamic data adjustments, this allows them to have low latency communications. Bypassing a central hub for direct communications removes the delay associated with the client server model. Skype is also multi-platform. Because Skype works on multiple platforms such as PC and Mac based computers, mobile phones, tablets, and internet connected devices like TVs, Skype is more integrated than traditional closed system VOIP options. It does not matter if all users share the same hardware, as long as the hardware they choose supports Skype, the user can connect to the service. This ties into the idea that Skype is free because interested users may already have the hardware that can run the service and merely have to download the software. Skype also allows for the transfers of files securely between members. So, what are the potential downfalls? The potential downfalls are that Skype isn't really free, there's a potential for excessive peer-to-peer -peer traffic, and there are privacy issues such as the potential for monitoring traffic by third parties. Although registering the software does not cost anything, Skype is not truly free. The basic services are ad-based, which means that the users will be subject to the advertisements while utilizing the services. While this can be removed by subscribing to the premium service, subscription negates the concept of free. Also, some services, such as multi-user conferencing, are limited to the basic account. In addition, as networks become more and more congested with traffic, internet service providers are beginning to cap bandwidth access by their subscribers. This, in effect, forces the decision of the Skype user on how their access is used. Finally, because Skype uses a peer-to-peer -peer transmission method, some researchers have been able to identify Skype traffic even though it is supposed to be anonymous. The creators of Skype themselves have not denied that they have direct access to conversations over the network and may access such information at any time. Because of the uncertain security and privacy issues, some networks, such as workplaces, governments, and schools, have restricted or banned access and the use of peer-to-peer -peer vo voice over IP software like Skype. Even with such downfalls, 
Skype is a easy, intuitive program to use. This is an example of a Skype video call. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, how's the baby? He's good. Hey, hi. Hi, Siri. Hi. Oh, peanut says hi too. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Skype is a versatile, fast, inexpensive alternative to t traditional phone service. Add in a webcam, and free video-based web chat is available to anyone with an internet-connected device. By utilizing peer-to-peer -peer network traffic, calls are fast and generally low latency. While there are other voice-over internet protocol options, Skype remains the most popular multi-platform service available.